Uh, separately, contacts information of some 4,000 people who had taken part in Singapore Art Museum events was leaked online. It had been kept in a data file on the SAM website and was illegally published and uploaded to a server in New Zealand. In a statement issued today, the museum said it was alerted to this on November the 5th by the Infocom Development Authority of Singapore. It comes as a group has claimed online to have released the contact details of over 3,600 people from a Singapore website, although it did not specify the site. Following IDA's alert, SAM immediately removed the data file from its site and filed a police report. IDA also notified the administrator of the overseas website and the web page with the leaked data was taken down within two hours. The Singapore Art Museum is doing what it can now to enhance its systems and its processes. Uh, and what we want to do now is really to focus on the affected subscribers. We have uh, alerted them. We have reached out to all 4,000 uh, of the affected subscribers. And we have our system in place for them to contact us. In the meantime, Communications and Information Minister Jakob Ibrahim says any cyber threat is a threat to people, regardless of whether the intent is malicious or mischievous. In a Facebook post, he said hacking is still irresponsible, even if it was done by curious netizens who claim to have simply followed instructions online. He likened such acts to having someone come into a home uninvited. Dr. Jakob also noted that many agencies have worked hard in the past few weeks to strengthen the security of Singapore's computer systems and websites.